Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful princess super do white cuff bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe because sometimes I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. Like probably I will make earrings and a ring matching this bracelet and if you want to see them, it's a good idea to hit the bell. Uh, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is down there in description you will find a full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are blue super dual beads. And these are 8 beads in silver color. And here I'm using a toggle clasp. You could use regular clasp or you could definitely close your work without a clasp. This is monofilm and that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I use to attach my clasp. So now I'm going to take a comfortable length of thread on my needle, let's say an arm span or if you want half an arm span, I'll start my work and later I will show you how to add more thread. See you in a while. And now I'm starting my work by picking up just one ato, which will be my stopper bead. I'm sliding it down, but I want to leave a small tail here. Let's say 8 inches, which is about 20 centimeters. Okay, and I'm going through it to make it stay in one place. Why I'm leaving this tail? Because later I will finish my work. I will put my needle on this side and I will attach my clasp and finish my work uh, using this tail thread. Okay, so now what I want to do is take two super duels, okay, one ato, then again two super duels, then again one ato and then again two super duels. Okay, you could uh, pause on this frame and pick them up. Okay, now I'm going to slide those down just like this. Now you see what I have. And now guys, in my next step, as I have all those beads here attached, what I want to do is as I'm exiting from this hole here of my work, you see this is my thread here. Here it is. I will go through its other empty hole of the same super dual bead, okay? Just like this. So I'm zigzagging through my work. And now I'm going to take just one ato and go through the empty hole of the next super do bead. Okay, now I have this. And you pull your, your thread and make everything tight. Okay, so now here I'm not adding a toe, but I want to go here through this bead, through the empty hole of this bead. Okay, pull it tight. Now, it's time to add a toe because you see I'm zigzagging. Okay, just follow the steps. Go through the empty hole, just like this. Okay. Then I turn this um, twin bead that wanted to go in the other direction. And I go through its empty hole without adding anything. So I'm alternating. I add one, then I skip and go directly through the bead. And now you see here, 
I'm adding one. Okay. And I pull tight. And what I want to uh, do now, guys, is go back through all of those beads. And in this way, I'm reinforcing my work as well as repositioning my thread. Okay. Now I pull and I have this. Now, guys, in my next step, I'm going through the super do and through the next A2. Then what I want to do is go through these two super do's. And I'm going to take two more super do's. Okay, just like this. Now, what I do is that I go back in circle through those two super do's, holding those two. And when I pull, you see I have a loop here between my beads. And when I pull, they go nice and tight next to each other. Okay. Now I want to repeat this step. Go through the A-toe and through the following two super do beads. Take two super duos and go back through those two here. And I have the same thing, a loop between those two. Okay, I have this. And what I want to do here, guys, is go through this A toe, only through the A toe, take one super duo. Slide it down like this, and as I'm exiting through one of its holes, I want to go through its other hole. You see, I'm zigzagging through it, through one of the holes and then through the other. And I also go through the following bit. Okay, this is how I attached it. Zigzagging, go in this direction through one of the holes and then through the other. So here I need one ato and go through these two. It tells me what to do now. Then again, one ato and go through this one. Now I'm going to take this super do, slide it down. And as I'm exiting through one of the holes, I want to go through the other one and back through the A toe. Okay. I'm attaching it the same way, going through one of the holes and then through the other and making it stay like this. Okay. Now, what I want to do is go through my beads. Just follow the steps where I go. And my final goal is to exit here through those two that are meeting. And I'm going to take two super do's and I'm going back through these two like this. Okay. Now I have this. Then what I do is that I go here through those two beads then back through this one and you see guys my final goal is to exit here without my thread showing so I'm exiting here then back here and I'm always turning my work the way it's easier and my goal is here to add two more I take two I go back like this okay now my goal guys is to exit here 
through those two beads without my thread showing. And I could do this in several ways. I could go here from the top, then here through those two beads, first through one, then through the other, and I will be exiting here. Okay. Now here, what I want to do is add two beads, just like this. Then I'm going back through these two. In this way, I reinforce my work. And I'm ready to step up in my next row. And my next row is really easy. I'm going here through this bead like this taking just one a toe and go back through these two then again one a toe and go back through these two and then again one a toe okay now in my next step, I want to add two beads here and two beads here. How I do this, I go in this direction, repositioning. And I exit here. Now I add two. And I go back like this. Then I go in this direction. And my goal is to exit here at these two beads. Take two and go back. Then go again here through those beads. And my goal is to add these last two from both sides of my work. Okay. And in this way, I will finish it. So, how I do this, I take just one bead, slide it down. And as I'm exiting through this hole here, you see where my thread is here it is i'm going through its other empty hole and through this bit now i add one go through two then again one and go here and then i take just one bit Slide it down like this, going through one of its holes. I'm going through the other empty hole and through this A2. And this is how I finish this row. Now I want to add two beads here, two beads here, and two beads here. Okay, I'll do this faster. Okay guys, and now what I want to do is reposition my thread. I will go through all of those beads. I'm exiting here from this side of my work. 
and what I want to do is go back through the empty hole of this bead and now I'm going to fill in the gaps. Okay, now it comes the row where I add here two, here two and then finish those two at the edge. I will show you this one and after that I will let you do your work by yourself until your thread is finished and then I will be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, so watch this one. Okay, now I have this, so I guess you get what to do next. You reposition, you go here, out of this one, two, 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 then fill the gaps and the other type of row where you add two and two and fill the last edges. Okay, so if you have done it up to here, I'm sure you will be able to do the whole bracelet. If not, just rewind and repeat, repeat, repeat. It's one and the same thing. Okay, see you in a while to show you how to add more thread. Okay, guys, and as I continued my work, now my thread is almost over and I'll show you how to cut it and add a new one. Okay, I'm here. My thread is over and I want to make a loop here just like this going under the thread bridge and I'm going once then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and then I pull and then guys I will go through the following seed bead and you could repeat this knot several times when you already go through the following bead and cut your thread Okay, now I'll put a new thread on my needle and I will continue. Okay guys, and I'm here with a new long thread on my needle. And uh, this is about an arm span. Okay, so now what I want to do guys is go here through some beads. Pull your thread. Hold your tail thread with your thumb and make here a loop then go once and then go second time through this loop and pull then you could repeat this several more times and when you're ready you come here and you cut your tail thread okay and from here on guys I guess you know how to continue. Add here two, 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 then fill the gaps and the next row and the next row. Rewind the video if you don't remember how I'm doing it. And when I'm about to finish the bracelet, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and to make your bla bracelet as long as you wish, adding more and more thread if you need to okay and here I'm at my final step where I'm in the row where I'm adding two atos there is a row where I add three atos which is this one and I want to finish with the row that I have two atos and what I'm going to do next is find a way to attach my clasp okay i'm repositioning my thread because what i want to do is exit through one of those two eight o beads that i just added and i want to exit from outside 
edge to through the inner edge okay like this there is a way to connect those two ends but now i'm going to show you this with a clasp okay i'm taking three and i go here with these guys i'm making a loop where i could attach my clasp okay so now i'm going to reinforce this several times but i show i will show you just once Okay, do this as many times as you like and here when you're ready make a loop and go once and twice, pull, then go through some beads and when you're ready cut your thread and now I'm going to show you how to add your clasp. I'm taking those two parts of my clasp I'm taking my jump ring I open this one up if you can't do this by hand and with a plier you should use another plier okay now I'm coming here I'm putting this toggle clasp and I squeeze back Okay, now this is what I have. Now here guys, I'm going to remove this bead here at the edge and I'm going to finish it with this thread. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and now my white cuff super do princess bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find a full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And you could check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.